about that girl, man. Oh, James, I like her, but she's just a bit too pushy in that. Mm. I just don't know if I can manage having a relationship right now with work and more exams coming up. Maybe I'll just take her for a day at the local cinema so I don't have to chat to her too much. You see, Lewis, you need to know how to look after your lady. Remember when I was dating Ethel? Oh, yeah. Mm. I remember Ethel. You never mentioned why you broke up. Yeah, but well, to be honest, I wasn't really going anywhere. It was that bracelet you bought, wasn't it? Bro, let's not go there. Okay, yes, it was mainly to do with the bracelet. But how was I supposed to know? Okay, I was told about a jewelry store that sold discounted items. So I went online and ordered her a bracelet. So what happened? She didn't like it? Bro, she loved it. She wouldn't take it off. And then after a week, she calls and asks where I got it. You know what I'm saying? Which I thought was weird. So I asked her why. She started, started screaming about it, how her wrists had turned green and how she had to seek medical advice. Like, how was I supposed to know the jewelry was fake? That the bracelet wasn't gold? Bro, that's wild. I hope you sent it back and got a refund. <laughs> Sorry? Bro, it was a cheap deal and I didn't read the terms and conditions, man. Cha! You! Mr. Big Time Solicitor! You didn't check out the website properly. You just saw the price and got excited. Bro, you're such a cheapskate. Go on, tell me, how much was it? 30 quid, 20, 15, lower? <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? Less than a tenner. You're lucky you're still breathing. Bro, that's what she said to me. And bro, luckily the only time is that stainless skin green, but bro, she dashed to me and the bracelet at the same time, man. <sighs> she was so cold, man. And you want to give me advice on how to treat a girl? 